Hello, everyone. My name is Erin Weimert, and this is another video for our Yoga From Home series. This is going to be an intermediate video, so if you're not in the mood for that, you might push stop now. By intermediate, I mean like a level two, okay? Um, if you feel like you would like to donate to this channel, the money goes to me and my husband, um, producing these videos. Uh, my Venmo and PayPal is in the information for this movie. Other than that, no pressure. I just want to serve you and, um, be present during these really tough times. So today's class is called move it out. Uh, we're going to be working on moving out old, stagnant, stale energy, anything that feels anxious, any sort of um, energy that feels tense, any sort of fear or panic uh, that might be stuck in the body. I'm hoping that we can just move it out um, because when that stuff gets stuck in the body, um, it can show up in a multitude of ways, dis-ease, discomfort injury, pain, um, illness. So we're going to just really work on clearing everything out. And, um, I'm hoping you're going to feel pretty energized after this. So we're going to start with, uh, three rounds of Kabbalah Bhati breath, and you can do this through the nose or through the mouth. And I'll demonstrate both ways. Kabbalah Bhati is, um, a great way to just sort of jumpstart our nervous system to wake us up. Um, so when we do Kabbalah Bhati breath, we want to feel that it's basically the navel pumping back and it shouldn't feel like you're hyperventilating. Like <laughs> you want to just take in a little bit of air and that forceful exhale will take care of the inhale. The inhale should just take care of itself. So I'll show you what this sounds like out of the nose and out of the mouth. Out of the mouth is sometimes good when you're like, have a stuffy nose. So through the nose, take just a little bit of air in. And it feels like your abdomen is working and your mula banda, your pelvic floor is lifting. Through the mouth, it almost sounds like this choo-choo sound and it would look like this. So you can do either one. You can play around with both. Um, and uh, we're going to do three rounds, and I will guide you through all of this. If you are pregnant, um, just work with some easy, uh, gentle ujjayi breath. So go ahead and rest the hands on the thighs and draw the elbows back under the shoulders. Lean back, draw the ears back, and allow the chin to drop in ever so slightly. Relax tension from the jaw the shoulders. Take a slow, deep breath in. Keep the spine long as you exhale everything out. Take a quarter breath in and we'll begin. Let everything go. Take a full breath in. Pause at the top. Lower the chin and lift the chest. Jalandhara Banda. Just feel the heat rising into the body, through the torso, into the heart. And an Ujjayi exhale. Let that go. Float the chin back up to neutral. So keep in mind you can do this as slow or as fast as you want. I'm going to try this next round out of the mouth. Take a deep breath in and exhale every last bit of air out and take a quarter breath in.
full breath in, pause at the top, lower the chin, slightly lift the heart, feel the heat rising throughout the chest, the front, the back, the sides, digesting and disintegrating any tension, any anxiousness that you're ready to part with. And exhale through the nose, let the chin float up to neutral. And just feel the effects of this. This breath is also called skull shine breath. Sometimes people feel a vibration or tingling at the top of the head. And third and final round, take a full breath in, spine lengthens. Keep that length as you exhale all the way out. And quarter breath in and begin. breath in, pause at the top, lower the chin slightly, lift the heart, feel the heat rising into the heart, through the neck, the throat, up into the head, and exhale, let that go. Let's take a full breath in and out, and notice the effect, the shift that's occurred physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically. Let's go ahead and make our way into a tabletop position. Bring your hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Wrist creases parallel to the top of your mat. Find your knees directly under the hips. As you exhale, drop your belly down to the ground and stay for the inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, tuck and round. Feel the tail curl under, heart and chin draw in. Let's do it again, slow, easy breath in, front of the body long and wide, and exhale, tuck and round. Once more like that on your own with your breath. Let's come back to a neutral spine. Extend your right leg back so you're in a three-legged tabletop, inhale. Let's exhale, knee to nose, tuck and round. Inhale, right leg back. Knee to right tricep, exhale. Send the right leg back, inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows, tap forehead or chin down. Press back up again, inhale, low belly in, knee to nose, exhale. Send it back, inhale, knee to right tricep, X. Inhale, right leg back, exhale, bend the elbows, tap forehead or chin. Press back up, inhale, tuck your back toes and float your right leg high. We're in a three-legged dog. Go ahead, bend the knee and turn your knee skyward. Now, allow the left heel to drop if you can. Work your left hip crease back. Reach your right thigh higher. Big breath here. Exhale, step between your thumbs and drop the back knee down. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, Anjaneyasala. Exhale, vertical twist to the right, reach your left arm forward. As you inhale, reach the left arm to the top of your mat. And exhale, find your twist, elbow to thigh, palms touch. Now as you press down into your left palm, turn the sternum up to meet the thumbs. Lift the chest to the chin, take a big breath here. And exhale, untwist, bring your hands to the earth or blocks, straighten both of your legs. Work the right hip crease back and allow your left hip, your outer left hip to wrap forward. That can be tough to do if your back heel's flat. So see if you can spin the left heel behind you. If you wanna get into your calves a little bit, you can pick up the ball of your right foot. Take a full breath here and stay for your exhale. Inhale to your lunge, rebend your front knee. Exhale, step top of your space, forward fold. With hips over heels, find a halfway lift. Big breath here. And exhale, bow into yourself. 
Inhale, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. And as you exhale, bend your knees, airplane the arms and just round the spine. <laughs> Let it go. Inhale up to stand. Exhale, bend <sighs> with the breath. <sighs> Three more. Like you're Taylor Swift and you're just shaking it off. Shake it off. It's moving around old stagnant energy. Inhale up, deep breath here, and fold to the ground. Exhale. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Keep the spine long and step back to plank, one foot at a time. Lift the heels up. Lift your thigh bones up into your hamstrings. Lift your ribs up into your spine. Feel the whole undercarriage of your body lifting up. With the chin off of your chest, tip the weight forward into knuckle pads and finger pads, lower down to the ground. Untuck your toes, and then walk your fingertips away from you. So you have soft bend through the elbows. We're coming to a low cobra. Inhale up to rise, collarbones lift, shoulder blades draw down, and exhale to lower. Walk the fingertips a couple inches closer. Inhale, rise up, feel your low belly lift off of the earth, and exhale to lower. So you can come a couple inches closer, a little bit higher, inhale, and exhale. Fingertips next to your chest line, lift the elbow points up, inhale to rise. As you exhale, drop your right shoulder, take a little turn to the left. Let's inhale up through center, exhale, drop left shoulder, turn to the right, you can let the head go. Inhale, back up, take a full breath, and exhale, lengthen your sternum forward to lower. Press up to all fours, tabletop. Find one cow pose, inhale, and exhale to cat, tuck and round. Let's come back to a long spine. Send your left leg back, take a big breath in. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Knee to left triceps, you make contact. Send the left leg back, inhale. As you exhale, bend the elbows, tap forehead or chin. Press back up, inhale. Knee to nose, X. Inhale, send the leg back. Knee to left tricep. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, bend the elbows, tap down. Press back up. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, three-legged dog, and then bend your left knee and turn it skyward. Right heel drops. Right side body long. Take a big breath. Exhale, a quiet step between the thumbs, and drop your right knee down. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, crescent moon. Exhale, vertical twist to the left, right arm forward. Inhale, reach your right arm to the top of your mat, and exhale, find your twist. Now, most of us have to round, especially into that left side body to make contact. And then from there, work your left hip crease back. Lift the chest as you press down into your right palm. Spin the heart open, take a big breath here. Exhale, untwist. Hands to the earth or blocks. <laughs> Pyramid pose. Again, feet are hip width and parallel. Imagine, or you could actually put your left thumb in your left hip crease, push it back, outer right hip wraps forward. And if you did on the first side, you can pick up the ball of your left foot. Get into the calf. Stretch the chest forward, inhale, and stay for your exhale. Inhale to your lunge. Step so lightly, top of your mat. Exhale. Let's find a halfway lift. Collarbones up, shoulder blades draw back. Full exhale to fold. Inhale all the way up, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and let it go. <sighs> Inhale, reach. And exhale. <sighs> Letting go of any sort of fear any sort of doubt, 
any sort of anxiousness, just let it go. One more. Let's come back up, inhale, and fold forward, exhale. Take a halfway lift here and extend the chest and step to plank. Spread your fingers wide, shift forward on a breath in, exhale half or all the way. Inhale to your back bend. Maybe your knees and thighs lift for upward facing. Downward facing is your exhale. All right, just find a couple of breaths to settle in. Arriving back in this moment, being present for the changes that you're creating in your body and also in your mind. Bring your feet to touch. Lift your heels, bend your knees a lot, pull your hips way back, and then jump or walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale your left foot back to a lunge. All right, so feet hip width. Stretch your right arm to the sky and find your twist. Feel that your left arm is an active base as you work the right hip crease back. And keep the arms wide and come up to a twisted crescent lunge. Shoulders over the hips. Now, tendency is for the knees to knock in. Try to keep your thighs parallel. Feel the twist happen from your low ribs. Keep the arms wide. And as you inhale, left fingertips tap down. Exhale, dig through your right heel to rise back up. Inhale, lower and tap. And exhale, rise up. The power's in your right heel. Let's do two more. Hold tight here. Right arm goes down and up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale, firm your outer left hip in, stabilize the pelvis. Once more, inhale and exhale. Now as your right arm goes down and up, come to one-legged staff, left knee lifts up, stamp down through your right foot. Maybe you extend the right leg, take a big breath in and exhale, bend your knees, both feet down, chair pose, float the arms back. Arms go wide, out, forward, and up. Inhale, exhale, go wide, out, and back. Twice more, just exploring our range of motion. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Let's inhale up to stand. Exhale, bring your right arm under and around the left. Eagle arms. If your palms don't touch, you can bring backs of hands. You can bring hands to shoulders. As you inhale, lift the fingertips up, draw the shoulder blades down, little arch to the upper spine. Exhale, bend the knees, elbows to navel, tuck and round. Let's do it again. Inhale, dig through the heels to stand. Exhale, elbows to navel. Two more. Twist the arms like ropes. Unwind, inhale all the way up. Let's find a standing back bend as you exhale. Lift the sternum to the sky and then pull the belly in. Inhale, reach tall, fold forward down to the ground. Let's find a halfway lift. Step your left foot back, warrior two. All right, so we're heel to heel or heel to arch. Lengthen your stance, so getting your front knee over the ankle is doable, but it should feel like work. It should feel like effort. And then allow the pelvis to turn slightly towards your right knee. Ribs spin to the left. Just feel that you feel grounded and supported by both feet and both legs equally. And just let yourself explore some stillness for a few rounds of breath. Inhale your right leg long. Turn your left toes up slightly. 
As you reach forward, work your right hip crease back. Let the left hip wrap forward and then pivot your arms to 12 and 6. Trikonasana. Anchor your tailbone to your back heel. And then instead of trying to yank your hips open, turn the ribs open. Stamp down through both feet equally. As you inhale, reach your left arm forward, palm faces down. Exhale, reach your right arm forward, palm faces up. Breathe here for three. Right side body is long for two. Turn your chest to the sky, reverse warrior. Big, big breath here. Exhale, hands to the ground. Wide runner's lunge. All right, now stay with me. Keep the back knee up, if you can, unless you don't want to. This is your home practice. You do what you want. I'm going to keep back knee up, and I'm going to work on bringing my forearms down. So you might be using blocks. You might be staying on the palms. And just let your breath be a reflection of peace and ease. Feeling strong, stable, and supported from the inside out via the breath. Now, our destination is forearm plank. Step your right foot back. You can interlace the fingers. Instead of lifting the hips, shift the shoulders over the elbows. Feel the pubic bone pulling up to the navel. Neck is long, 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 long. Last five breaths here. You might try ujjayi breath. It's a really great way to stay centered and focused. One more breath here. Stay for your exhale. Press the palms down, high plank. You choose chaturanga or not. We'll meet in downward dog. Stretch it back. Relax the head and breathe. Bring your feet to touch. Lift your heels up. Bend your knees. Pull the hips way back. Jump or walk to the top of your space. Find a halfway lift here. Exhale your right toes. Step back. We're in a lunge. Feet hip width. Left arm opens for your twist. Now, keep your left big toe mound on the ground as you draw left thigh bone back. Right shoulder blade out of the ear. Take a big breath and exhale, rise up. Woo! Okay, so left thigh, dead ahead. Outer right hip, that glute hugs in. Feel the twist from the low ribs. And then keep the arms wide. So you inhale, right fingertips, tap the ground. Exhale, dig down to rise up. Let's do it again. Inhale, breath. And exhale. Twice more on your own. Go as slow as you need. Feel the power in your left heel. All right. Get settled, left arm goes down and up. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist to the left, right arm forward. Let's do it again, inhale. And X, feel that nothing in the pelvis is moving, hip points lifting up. Last one, inhale. And exhale. As your left arm goes forward and up, pick your right knee up into the chest. One-legged staff. Maybe you extend your right leg long. Take a big breath in. Exhale, chair, airplane the arms wide out and back. Let's go wide out, forward and up. Inhale. Exhale, wide out and back. Inhale, reach. And ex. Let's do one more like that. Full breath. And exhale. Come up to stand. Inhale. Exhale, left arm under and around the right. Eagle arms. Whew. As you lift your elbows up, move the forearms away from the face, draw the shoulder blades down. Inhale, fingertips lift up, arch the upper spine. Exhale, bend the knees, elbows to navel. Let's do it again. Inhale, 
sharp. Exhale. Two more. Unwind. Inhale, reach up and find a back bend. Bottom tips of the shoulder blades. Lift the heart up. Reach tall. Inhale and fold forward down to the ground. Let's find a halfway lift and step your right toes back. Warrior two. Left foot forward. Okay. And take your time. Feeling at your feet on the ground. And once you feel confident in your base, just let yourself relax a little bit. And you're just dropping into this experience of stillness, getting comfortable with stillness. We have a lot of it coming up. A lot of times we experience stillness, we experience boredom, restlessness, which is oftentimes where I tend to get myself into trouble. So just being in the stillness, being in the silence, just being. Inhale your left leg long. Reach forward, pivot your arms to 12 and six. Trikonasana. Now feel that the length of your spine is more important than touching the ground and rounding the spine, okay? Anatomically, our goal is to get the spine as long as possible. So. It's a little bit of an ego, a nudge to the ego to back off, to make the spine your priority, as opposed to how deep you are. Reach your right arm forward, palm faces down. You can stay here or left arm forward, left side body long, breathe for three. Turn your chest to the sky for two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Whew. Exhale, hands to the earth, stay with me, wide runner's lunge. Back knee up if you can. Feel that your left knee is not, or your left heel, excuse me, is not behind your knee. It's under it or slightly in front of it. So, sort of like I've been cueing, the heel is the heaviest part of the foot. Use the breath to change your experience, to support you. Form plank. Step the left foot back. And walk your feet in for dolphin. So again, keep in mind, you can interlace the fingers. You can bring just your palms to touch if you want. So down dog on the forms, no weight in the head. Feel that as you press the forearms forward, your hips go back, up and back. <sighs> Option to lift the right leg up. Dial your right hip, knee, and right pinky toe down. Work the left hip crease back. Neck is long. Big breath here. Exhale, right toes down. And stretch your left leg up. Left toes and outer left hip wrap down. Right hip crease draws back, unshrug the shoulders, inhale. And exhale, lower down, walk back, forearm plank. We got five breaths here. Shoulders over, elbows, four. Last three. I know you're rushing. Two. And one. Sphinx pose. Elbows under the shoulders. You can stay here. You can bring your palms wide, lift up for seal. Feel free to roll the head out. And lower down. Reach your right arm out to the right. Wrist is in line with the shoulder. I'm gonna have this in most of my classes. It just feels so good, especially after forearm plank. Drop your right ear and roll to the right. Either stack two bent knees or place just your left foot behind you. And relax the right side chest. Let the right shoulder get heavy. Take a full breath here. And exhale, lower down, we'll switch sides. Left arm out. Drop your left ear and roll. So it's a chest and shoulder opener. It's a twist. 
that's just a bunch of yum yum rolled up into one shape. <sighs> and lower down. All right, y'all, we're gonna flow. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, lift the knees, inhale. Exhale, press to plank and pause. Stay for another inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a full breath here, let it feel good. And exhale out. Right leg inhales up. Exhale between the thumbs and lunge. Right arm inhales open to the sky. Exhale, rise up and twist. Right arm goes down and up. Let's find one-legged staff. Inhale, adding on hands to heart. Exhale. As you inhale, turn your chest to the left. Exhale, step your left foot back, warrior two. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot the arms, trikonasana. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right arm forward. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And exhale, chaturanga or not. Pause for a breath in down dog. Let it go. Left leg inhales up. Exhale, step between the thumbs. Inhale, left arm open. Exhale, rise and twist. Trust yourself there. Left arm goes down and up. One-legged staff, right knee up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, turn your chest to the right. Exhale, big step back, warrior two. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot the arms. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm forward, reverse. Inhale, full breath. Exhale, chaturanga or not. <sighs> Big breath in and down dog. And side out. <sighs> right leg inhales up. Exhale, big step through. Right arm inhales open. Exhale, rise and twist. You got it, one-legged staff, left knee inhales up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, chest to the left. It's a big ballsy step back, warrior two. Exhale, right leg inhales long. Exhale, reach and pivot the arms. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right arm forward. Reverse, inhale. Exhale, really, second to last vinyasa. You can modify these, you can skip these. They're not necessary, they're not required. Final side, let's push through, left leg, inhales up. Exhale, big step through. Left arm inhales open, exhale, rise. One legged staff, pick the right knee up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, turn your chest to the right. Exhale, big step back, warrior two. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, reach and pivot. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm forward. <laughs> Reverse, inhale, and chaturanga. Exhale. <sighs> All right, you guys. Meet me at the back of your mat. Forward fold. So, you can ragdoll it. You can bring your peace fingers around your big toes. Pull down. You can grab your calves, or you could slide your hands to the front of your shins and try to extend there. And let your grip go, whatever it is. 
bend through the knees a little bit more. And just take about 10 seconds to roll up. Okay. Shake it out. Inhale, your right knee lifts up. Stretch your arms up. We've been here before. Firm your outer left hip in. Get longer in your right side body. Okay, so another kind of ballsy move, just trusting your base, trusting your feet. Step into a lunge and airplane your torso. Reach. Feet hip width. Work your right thumb into your right hip crease. Stretch your left arm forward and exhale to find your twist. You can drop your back knee down. You can make a fist with your left hand. Bring the right palm on top. You can open your arms wide. You can half bind, full bind, right arm forward. Whew. Squeeze the inner thighs. Last three breaths. Just taking a moment to slow down. Let's feel the heat in your body. Feel the breath serving you, supporting you. Inhale your palms back to touch. Exhale, untwist. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, four, and exhale. As you inhale, reach forward, slow motion, half moon, left leg lifts. Standing knee is soft. Just like in triangle, we want to get long through the right side body. Option to bend the top knee. You can reach back and capture it with your left hand. And if you feel really comfortable there, you can play around with reaching your right hand back and also capturing the foot. Meet me back in half moon. Keep your left leg buoyant. Bend your standing knee. Take the lightest step back five. Woo! Pointed star reach. And come down on the horse. Next time I'll stick it. Settle down. And then slide the hands to your inner thighs. I know you guys love this one. Feel that you're pressing the knees wide. Take a deep breath in. So you exhale, drop your right shoulder. You can let the head go. You can let the shoulder shrug. Inhale through center. Exhale, turn to the left. Slowly inhale to center. Slide your hands down to your ankles. Now I need to bring my feet in a little closer to do that. As you pull on your ankles, feel your elbows, press the knees wide, okay? Now drop your hips, find cow pose in your chest, lift the heart, five easy, gentle, spacious breaths. Take a big breath. Exhale and fold. Feel free to find some lunges side to side, some skandhasana, maybe stillness. If you're moving through skandhasana, again, take your time. There's a lot that can go wrong with skandhasana. Hyperextending the straight leg, torquing bent knee. So just feel that you're moving in a way that's really uh, coordinated, mind and body synchronized. And as you inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, turn to your right toes, lunge. And let's step back, plank. Walk back to your feet, forward fold. Find a halfway lift here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale all the way up, stretch. Exhale down, hands to heart. Okay, we're going side two. Lift the left knee up, stretch the arms up. Firm your outer right hip in. Feel your left hip crease draw down. 
And then just trust yourself. Big inhale, exhale, step, and float the arms. Left hip crease back. Let's reach the right arm forward. Inhale, left thumb to left hip crease. Exhale to find your twist. Again, you can always drop the back knee. Feel that your, your thumbs are not by your armpit. Your left shoulder isn't popping forward. Push down into your bottom palm. Roll that shoulder out and then turn open. Feel free to expand the arms. Maybe left arm forward, half full bind. Last few breaths. Inhale, the palms to touch. Exhale, untwist. Inhale, up to crescent. There we go. Warrior two, exhale. Woo! Slid off the mat there. It's okay. This is raw, uncut. Reach the left arm forward. Half moon. Hmm. All right. And then eight to 10 breaths. Take this wherever you did. On the first side, standing knee soft. Meet me back in half moon. Keep the right leg buoyant. Bend your standing knee. Take the lightest step back, five-pointed star. And come down into horse. I'm going to turn around to face you. All right. So we're going to do two different kriyas. Rapid movement with the arms to build heat. Again, to move things out. Energy that sucks, that's not yours. Um, energy that's doused in fear, panic, anxiety. So let it go. Okay, we're going to move it out. So for our first kriya, Inhale, reach the arms wide. We're going to do this in and out of the nose. Exhale, make fists. Pull it in. Inhale. Exhale. You go as fast as you want. And close the eyes. Five, four, three, two, holding it on one, relax the shoulders, breathe, ground down into your feet, feel them solid, heat rising through the torso. <sighs> Open the eyes, second Kriya, arms up, inhale, exhale, make fists, pull them down, okay? As fast as you want. I like to close the eyes. Let this be an internal experience. Move it out. Five, four, three, two. Hold it in on one. Breathe. Sit the hips. Feel your feet. Feel your feet discharging anxious energy, anything that's shaky or tense. Let it go out of your feet. Pull in earthy, grounding, nurturing, supportive energy. Open the eyes. Interlace your hands behind the back. Drop your knuckles. If this is a tough grip, you can hook the thumbs. Now keep the knees, legs as they are. Hinge at your hips. Fold. Whew. Drop your hips. Shoulder blades lifting to the hips. So not towards the ears, away from the ears. By way of your low back, release your hands. Fingertips to the earth, toes forward. Walk your palms forward. Tip forward slightly. Feel all of your knuckle pads and finger pads ground. And then pull the hips back and just traction the spine. (sighs) 
Walk your hands, your flat palms, just a little bit closer. And reach your right hand to the top of your left shin or down to your ankle. Turn your right toes away from you. Bend your right knee. As you bend your right knee, left leg straight. Pull with your right hand, look underneath the shoulder. Getting a little something through. QL muscle, maybe the serratus under the shoulder blade. Take a full breath in and exhale, release. And bring your left hand to the top of right shin or ankle. Turn your left toes away from you, bend into your left knee. Pull with your left hand, look underneath the right shoulder. Last inhale, exhale, come on out. Find a halfway lift, turn to your left toes, lunge, step to plank, and come down to your knees. Okay, so let's go ahead, have a seat. Bring your right shin in front, 90, so knees in line with the hip. Press your left knee back so it's similar. Left hip will lift. Option one, you can fold over your right thigh. You might have props there. Option two, you can fold over your right shin. Option three, you can press your right heel away and snuggle your right shoulder inside of your knee. It's nice if you have something to rest the head on. You can try it out, see what works. And just find about eight to 10 breaths. Relax your top left hip. Bottom right thigh, root of the right thigh heavy. If you're in a twist, untwist first, then press up. And let's go ahead, grab your left shin, lean to the right, and bring that leg around. We'll switch sides. Left knee in line with the left hip, right thigh back, fold over left thigh, left shin, or press the left heel away. See if you can snuggle. Snuggle, snuggle, and hang again, eight to 10 breaths. I usually find that I tense up a bunch in my top right hip. See if we can let that go. Let go of the inner groins, let go of squeezing, holding, hugging. Let your body release away from your midline. Take an inhale and exhale and twist. Grab your right shin, lean to the left, bring it around. All right, let's go ahead and extend your left leg long. Bend your right knee so your heel's outside of the hip. You can stay here or you can bend your left knee and pull the left heel in. But no press, you're gonna get the same twist. So bring your right fingertips behind you, wrap your left elbow around the knee, and then turn equal weight through both of your sit bones. Get more length from bottom to top, top to bottom. And as you inhale, take your gaze forward. Exhale and twist. Unwind your legs, right leg long. Place your left foot outside of the thigh or bend your right knee and pull the right heel in. 
place the left fingertips behind you and wrap the left knee with the right elbow. Notice if the back of your pelvis falls back, see if you can lift it up. Equal weight through both sit bones. See if you can get both side bodies equal in length. So for example, notice if you bow out through the left ribs, see if you can hug them in. And as you inhale, take your gaze forward. Exhale, untwist. Carefully release. Let's come onto your back. And draw the knees wide, rock a little side to side. So if this feels good, you can stay here. You can wrap your arms behind the knees. It's more like a restorative happy babies. You can grab outer edges of the feet. It might feel intuitive to extend one leg and then the other, maybe both. If your legs are straight, you can try bringing your feet to touch, get into the calves a little, forehead to knees, just choices, options, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, keep the legs straight or get them straight if they're not. Bring your arms by your sides and either grab the mat or slide your hands underneath your hips. Or if you're like, I got some more energy to burn, stretch the arms up. Not so that they're resting on the floor, they're active, they're not touching the ground. Take about 20 seconds to lower your legs towards the ground. So with every exhale, let this be deliberate. Your navel pulls in. There's a point where you're gonna wanna rush. Stay present for it. And when your heels do come to the ground, feel that they didn't fall down, but rather you place them there. <sighs> okay. Release the arms if they were above the head, lift the chest, shimmy the shoulder blades together, and allow yourself to lay back. So since about this time, most of us have nothing but time. Please enjoy yourself, enjoy Shavasana. Feel that when you do come out of Shavasana, it wasn't a rushed decision. Feel that you were able to ground into your body to assimilate and process this practice and feel its effects. And take as much time as you need. Thank you so much for joining me today. To all my students, I miss you, I love you. Till next time, namaste.